Alrighty people, how you doing? So I recently uploaded a video on YouTube. I'm sorry, I'm sweating God because I just um, did the gardening stuff. So I recently uploaded a video on YouTube where I explained how I fixed the tick 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 sound that comes out of Himalayan 450 and I uh, mentioned in the video clearly that we needed to change the engine head in order to fix that issue. Uh, but today I got a comment on the video. Uh, someone is asking me what the hell the shims are exactly and what did you change? So as I said, uh, we changed the engine head, but I do um, apologize that I did not clearly mention what the shims are because I was trying to keep the video to the shortest as possible, uh, saving the times for the viewers. And that's why I did not go deep into the mechanism of how the engine works. But today um, I'll try my level best to explain what the shims are exactly and this video is especially for you who commented on the video so in order to understand what the shims are you would need to have a um, little bit of knowledge of how the engine works so most of us we know what a piston is so we're gonna start with the piston so the piston inside the engine it goes up and down and then that is connected to the gear system and the gears they rotate those gears they are then connected to the timing chain so it's a different moving parts I'm trying to explain it to you and I would like you to imagine it so the piston goes up and down and the piston is connected to a road that is connected to the gears a different gear system that you have in your motorcycle one two three four five six gears and those gears they rotate and those gears they are connected to a chain we call it timing chain and that timing chain is connected to uh, you can think about it like two different roads like roads R O D S roads so the timing chain is connected to di two different roads they are valves exactly so the timing chain rotates the valves they rotate and the valves underneath the valves there are shims I'm gonna explain that in a minute but what the shims are and underneath the shims you have the the combustion happening that's the combustion chamber where you have the air to fuel mixture happening where you have the exhaust gases that are you know uh, being created because of the combustion they are the entire process is there and then again you have the piston underneath that combustion chamber so this is the entire cycle of an engine and the purpose of valves inside an engine is to you have two different valves two different road so one road is for the intake valve you call it intake valve and the purpose of intake valve is to allow the air to fuel mixture go inside the combustion chamber and then the combustion happen because of the fuel and the air being mixed together and that combustion creates gases too and the other road is called exhaust valve the purpose of exhaust valve is to let the gases that are created because of the combustion inside the chamber let those gases pass out through the exhaust now if the doors on your valves are tight or you can think about it if the gap between the valve is too tight you would not uh, have enough air to fuel mixture happening inside the combustion chamber hence you would uh, lose performance so think about it uh, like this your company asks you to maintain 0.18 mm uh, 0.12 mm to 0.18 mm of valve gap for the intake valve that's what uh, Royal Enfield asks and if your gap is let's say 0.3 mm what's happening there is the intake valve the doors that the intake valve have they are too tight that not enough air or fuel is being passed through to the combustion chamber and hence you would uh, feel like your motorcycle is not performing up to the standard and if the doors on the exhaust valve or if the gap on the exhaust valve is too tight it's not loose then the doors are not opening up properly and the gases that are being created created inside the combustion chamber they are trapped they are not coming out and they are not passing out through the exhaust and uh, that's why you have different shims so shims are you can think about it like shims are two discs different uh, discs 
the circular looking thing and exactly they look like the cell of a battery uh, sorry the cell of a watch you know how we have those tiny cells inside the watch that's exactly what a shim looks like but they comes of different uh, thickness so if your valve gap for the intake valve is too tight if your valve gap doors are too tight they are not opening up properly what you would need to do is you would need to add thinner shims for the intake valve and uh, if they are too loose you need to add thicker shims so that the timing of the valve the the time when the valves open up the door and closes the door it matches the entire cycle of the engine so if you have the piston and gears and timing chain they are rotating at a different speed but the valves are opening and closing the doors at a different speed or time then you would have a mismatch and you would start to get this mechanical noise and start to lose performance as well so that's basically what the shims are and that's the purpose of shims and I hope now it's clear to you guys so uh, please leave comments down in this video or in that other video you can watch that video in the description I'll leave a link to that how I fixed my ticking sound of Himalayan 450 but yeah man I hope this was helpful but if you still have any doubts or any queries please leave them down in the comment below and uh, I'll try to I'll try to make it even more easier to understand alrighty people over and out make sure you subscribe to the channel help your brother out peace